All right, so let's talk about why 90% of all millionaires in the US invest in real estate. Why do 90% of all millionaires in the United States currently invest in real estate? And it seems like once people make a little bit of money, they also invest in real estate. Yes, you heard that correctly. 90% of people with money or millionaires invest in real estate or have even become millionaires through real estate investing. So why aren't you doing it? I don't know why. Maybe your, long, your road is a little longer than most people, but let's just talk about it. You know, through real estate investments is one of the safest ways for you to build wealth and grow your net worth in this country. And it's time for you to get in on the game too. I'm talking about cash flowing rental properties, which is something that we deal with every single day. And I have investors growing their portfolios and changing their lives and their family lives and everybody's lives they touch because they are simply investing in real estate and taking their best foot forward. Now, there's a few reasons why this happens. Number one is appreciation, right? Over time, almost all real estate is going to appreciate. You always hear people saying things like, oh, this house was for this particular sale price and now it is not, it, it's, it's much higher than that. That's year over year, that's in the last 10 years, certainly in the last 30 years. Now, does it ebb and flow? Yes, it does on longer cycles. However, at the end of the day, real estate is going to appreciate, okay? Now, another way you can really create Real estate investment success is passive income, passive cash flow, right? Which is why we do what we do. Your tenants pay the rent after all expenses, right? After all the expenses that are reoccurring monthly expensive, you get monthly cash flow. Meaning if you buy it right and you do the right things to the property, you end up with cash flow. The passive income that can supplement or replace your working income is what leads to financial freedom.